today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get level 2500 in Cold War and also max level in Modern Warfare 2019 and Vanguard. Now I will be leaving timestamps for this video because I will be showing one through six methods all in this video and all these methods is going to be shown on how you can get max level in cold war and you know when you have max level or at least over level 1000 in cold war that level 1000 transfers over to mono for 2019 and in vanguard now of course you can easily just play the game and grind to level 2500 but in today's video i'm just going to be showing some extra methods that can speed up the process for you that's enough talk let's get straight to the video right here is the first method on instant 2500 lobby it is the number one fastest way on how you can get max level in cold war vanguard and mono for 2019 so you will have to get a lobby and i will be linking the discord where you can get the lobby this mod right here is more newer than the cold war multiplayer nuke streak so you will need to go over to mono warfare 2019 all right so i'm going to be doing this lobby for my second account you guys see my second account is a level 101 we're about to get it to max level so you'll first need to start up mono warfare 2019 and if you don't have mono warfare 2019 i will be showing a cold war lobby method after all right so you guys see i'm now in mono warfare 2019 all right so i'm joining so you guys see we're in a custom game in mono warfare 2019 multiplayer all right i'm just gonna pick any random loadout so now that the game start and also check it out you guys got dark aether cold war camo on mono warfare 2019 as you guys see I am starting to get levels now. And my levels are now loading. And it's just gonna keep going all the way up until max level. And as you see now, guys, I'm up to level 544. And it's just going up more and more by the second. So we're just gonna keep letting it go all the way to the max level. All right, so I'm about to be a level 1000 now. Two seconds. And there we go, level 1000. So now level 1001 and from here I still do need to get more levels all the way up to 2500. Alright you guys and the levels should be about done now for level 2500. So just going to go ahead and back out that game and the first show how I'm max level. Look at the level that I am in Mono Warfare 2019. You guys see that I am a max level 1000. You guys see or say it here max level prestige master 1001 and then you see in vanguard it's level 2500 so it's just like cold war and you guys see on cold war level 2500 all legit all hard unlocked so once again i will be leaving a link to those lobbies all right so now you guys see i joined a lobby on zombies and this is another way this is a 2500 all right so you guys see i'm in a lobby and all the zombies spawn so this right here will make all the zombies spawn in place and look at that unlimited ammo basically have god mode in this lobby and if you look at my level my level is going up slowly all the way to max level 2500 so we just got to keep waiting for those levels to come in same way how we did a mono for 2019 so i should get a few more kills and of course getting these kills speed the process up everything you've seen here for method one will be linked in the description all other methods from here you can actually do will be more of glitches but these glitches are super effective because you'll be able to get max level 2500 from them all right now you guys see my level is 2500 and just got it all in a zombies all right the second method is the cold war bot lobby this works for all platforms and you can do this method to not only get max level unlock challenges like dark matter ultra calling cards and more so all you need to do is have a second console or if you have a friend you will need them to be loaded up on multiplayer and also they will need zombies as well downloaded so to get set up with this method you will need to go ahead and have the century turret score streak on you can also use harp it could make it easier and you could use care package or you could tell your friend or your second or on your second console use care package so you can shoot these down for dark matter ultra launcher challenges and for the example the second screen does represent the second console or a friend that you have that you can do this method with and to also set up make sure when you click on your social make sure your private privacy is to open or friends only so that way you'll be able to join yourself and same way with the second console 
make sure that it's friends only or open so you can join yourself without an invite and last thing to get started make sure you do activate your xp tokens and your weapon xp tokens you can max out your weapons from this as well and for the example i'm going to be maxing out is this vargo right here you guys see this vargo is only a level three so you're going to be seeing this vargo level up in game as well so first thing you need to do is go to versus bots and then with the second account or second console make sure that you're on the multiplayer screen and now with the main controller click the options button and hover over input device right here just like this then with the second console send the first invite and then view invite view player details and then once you're on this screen on the second console you'll need to invite yourself again so view invite view player details and then on the third invite so you need one more invite view invite and then this time click accept so you'll be on this screen and then click the options button and then on the second console or your friend click circle and then bring party and then you'll need to click the options button again and then now the friend or the second console needs to go to zombies and now you need to do these steps real fast so i suggest if it's your first time watch this first because at one point you only have 30 seconds to do this or you have to restart it all the way from the beginning so on the second console just go to private outbreak all right and then wait until it starts a 30 second countdown when it starts a 30 second countdown on the second console or the friend needs to click circle leave alone and then still don't do nothing on the main yet and then social and then join back as soon as possible so back out by itself and then join back as soon as possible so wait waiting for the join back once it's joined back on the main console go to view map you can go all the way down to Galova confirm then click Galova again team deathmatch start match and then click off the error social manage party then leave party that way you guys see it's now separate teams and it's a TDM going into outbreak that's and just to show more proof you guys see I got my online multiplayer classes in here in game so here go my Vargo and right here on the map is the two spawn points you will be spawning it just when the game first starts you'll spawn somewhere random in the map so to prevent that just use a grenade or anything so you'll be able to spawn at the two quick spawn points and this is where you spawn and from here you have a bot lobby see I just leveled up my gun already and this works for weapon levels XP levels you can get to level 2500 there we go I already leveled up again you can unlock all your camo challenges like dark matter ultra and here's ammo right here so it's an unlimited ammo supply with the sentry turret you can just plant the turret right here at the spawn so that way it makes this spawn right here the main spawn so I'll make it easier and everything done here counts as a normal online multiplayer match and the thing with these lobbies it does have a limit there's a 10 minute time limit and also 100 kill but it's unlimited because you can keep doing this over and over again and it works for all platforms and here's my tundra as well melee challenges and everything now you guys see i just got the nuke got a 30 kill nuke and these count these counts as real nuke let me go ahead and call this in the nuke calling card and also the dark ops challenge you get from the nuclear as well and then whenever you want the game to be over with you could just get to the 100 kill limit or you can wait for the timer to go up or on the host account you can just go to quit match and it'll end just like that and you can redo this method over and over again until you got whatever you want unlocked for the next method it is for PlayStation 5 only but there is an Xbox method I will be linking the Xbox method down below for this but if you are on PC you do need to skip to the next method or if you have a way on PS5 and want to try this method you can do it as well so all you got to do is first start up Cold War on the main account that you want to start it and get the bot lobby on and also before starting this method you do need two controllers and you also need a mouse so with the host account or the main controller on the main account that you want to get the bot lobby on go ahead start up cold war and then you're going to need to click on play local and then go into local multiplayer and then create your match and then with the second controller go ahead power it on and then go to add user quick play and then add it as split screen you got to click X twice 
and add it to the game and then with the host account of main controller go to cold war and then go to activities and start up any multiplayer game mode and then click circle leave lobby and then now with the second controller go to operators and then go to either natural warsaw and then click circle and then dismiss now with the main controller the first controller click options and then circle and then circle again so now we need to stack edit game rules so we go to custom games and then edit game rules settings win conditions and then now with the second controller click circle and then dismiss the error and then now with the main controller click the options button then circle and then click your socials button then circle now it's invisible but I'm going to show you on the second controller the bot account click down three times on the d-pad so down 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 and then now with the main controller the first account you only need to click X and then click settings win conditions again then once you're on the screen you can click circle circle all the way back out until you're on the loading screen right here and then with the first controller still click X and then go over to play local again and then multiplayer and then create your match and then with the second controller click X and then bring it in then with the first controller go to Cold War activities and start up any multiplayer activity and then click circle leave lobby now with the second controller go over to operators and then click on Warsaw or NATO X and then circle and then dismiss the error and then with the first controller click options and then circle and then circle again so now we need to stack the bot settings so go to custom games and then go to bots and players and then go to bot settings then once you're on this screen with the second controller click circle and then dismiss the error and then with the first controller click options and then circle and then now finally we need to use the mouse so plug in your mouse if you haven't already then just log into your account and use your mouse to click on bots and players in the background and then click on bot settings and then once you clicked on bot settings with the first controller click circle you can back all the way out all the way out to the main loaded screen then with the main controller click X and then go to play local for multiplayer local multiplayer and then create your match then with the second controller add it in click the X twice now then go to Cold War activities start up a game mode that's for multiplayer and then click circle leave lobby and then with the second controller it's gonna be invisible but still go over to operators so it's gonna be R1 R1 and then click X and then click circle and then click X again off the air and then on the first controller click options and then circle and then circle again so now we need to stack versus bots so now go to versus bots and then with the main controller still go all the way down to bot difficulty and on this screen with the second controller click circle and then dismiss the error and then now with the first controller click options then circle and then X and then after you click X you get the back all the way out to the main loading screen right here again and now with the main controller still click X and then this time instead of local multiplayer we're going to online zombies so click on online zombies and then you're going to need to start a private outbreak match but before starting your private outbreak match I highly suggest watching this first because you will only have 30 seconds for this step and if you get anything wrong you'll have to restart all the way from the beginning alright so I'm clicking outbreak now and then with the first controller click R1 R1 to operators and then now with the mouse go to change map you can do Galova you could do Centurium but that map does be small free for all start match and then dismiss the error auto fill the bots so make sure it's enabled enable it could give an error just dismiss it put them on recruit and then put the time and points all the way to as much possible so you see the score it's going to a thousand score and then it's going to 30 minutes so these are the max settings so you guys see I now spawned in and here go all the bots 
This counts as a real online match. You can get your challenges, your headshots. Remember my Vargo. I'm trying to level up. See it levels up. This counts as real online stats. Real online stats and these are bots. You guys see I just got my other camo challenge right here. Now I do highly suggest running scavenger. And the best thing about Cold War, you can edit your perks. So make sure you have scavenger on. So that way you can have unlimited ammo. You guys see I just leveled up two weapons easily just like that. And of course with the same bot lobby set up, you can run harp, you can run sentry, just to hold more control makes things easier. Look at that you guys, I'm unlocking camos. And once again the Xbox method for this will be linked down below. And you can definitely get to level 2500. This is actually the one, of, one of the most best ways to get to 2500. If you are on PlayStation 5 or Xbox, I highly suggest taking advantage of this because this is the craziest one. And another good dark ops you do get from doing this bot lobby is the nuked out. You guys know this is free for all. And all this count is online. You also get the nuked out reward. And look at that, you guys. Remember, this nuke counts as the nuked out. And the quad feeds, all the metals and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and call that nuke in right now too. Now, whenever you want it to end, of course, the time can just go by and end. But if you do want to end early, you could just go here. And also, all progress towards challenges will be saved. So no worries, everything will be saved. All as a normal online match. And also, since it is an online match, make sure you do not go AFK in these lobbies or it will kick you. Just to show proof, you guys see my Vargo is now a level 30. And I did get more of the Dark Matter Ultra challenges from it. Now for this method, you can do this right after doing Method 2 or Method 3 where it shows the zombie game modes in multiplayer. But if you don't have it, all you'll need to do is just do Method 2 or Method 3. And you know Method 2 is for all platforms. Alright, just got done doing Method 2. So now you guys see the zombie game modes is now in multiplayer. And it's like that for both players. But for your main control that you're going to be hosting this from, you're going to need to click circle and then go back into multiplayer so your normal modes can show. But make sure at least one player keeps these zombie game modes because you're going to need to be starting this public outbreak right here. So what you need to do now is go to custom games and then start up a custom games custom map. And then once it pushes into the map, go ahead in the game. Then once the game is over, hover over bots and players and then click circle and then right when you click leave lobby you're gonna have to click down down on the d-pad and then x real fast you're gonna click it real fast after you click leave lobby and you'll notice you'll be able to control the background quickly and you need to click into game mode so remember after clicking leave lobby click down down so so you see I almost had it our right, boss and players circle and then got it so when you click down down X you probably have to click X another time so down down X X that could work out for you too but go to your my saved game modes and here's the unlimited time search and destroy game mode that does count so once you're hovered over the game mode just click the options button and then now you need to tell your friend to send you an invite alright on the first invite view invite and then view player details and then on the second invite view invite view player details and then on the third invite, you're going to have to view invite and then accept. So now you'll be in the lobby. And then now start up a private or a public onslaught with the second console or your friend account. And then once you're in the onslaught match, leave alone with the second console or account. And then join back. So it's not giving a join option. 
it sometimes can be like this but just give it a second so join in back join back as soon as possible so you got these 30 seconds so when you join back click circled and X on the game mode and then manage party leave party and now you guys see it'll be a separate match now do not vote the map let it automatically go down let the timer go down and from here just let the game start up all right and you guys see once it says search and destroy instead of an actual zombies game mode and it shows your online zombie classes that's how you know that it truly worked so now you guys got an unlimited bot lobby for unlimited time working for all platforms and just like all the other bot lobby methods this does count as real xp you guys see even with being search and destroy they'll keep spawning you can do this to max out your weapon still get the max level 2500 also do all your challenges so same this is the same bot lobby this is just an unlimited way for all platforms and with it being a limited time everything still counts and then you see I just got a camo challenge right there and whenever you're done with this lobby you can just end the match right here all progress does get saved alright when I go back to my weapons you guys see that I did just unlock this camo everything really does count from these lobbies. the next method on how you can get level 2500 fast or max level for all the call of duties is reverse boosting you can reverse boost in cold war easily so what you at least need is a second console and on this second console make sure you do have two dummy accounts low level low stat accounts that only have deaths on it and what you're going to be doing from your main account you're going to be joining into these bot lobby accounts these low stat lobbies that you see the second console is going to be having so that's how you do it in tricking the system to turn off skill based matchmaking so the first thing you need to do is start up the game mode on the host reverse boost account so i want to play domination so i'm going to start up a domination and on the account that you want to get these lobbies on just hover over join party and be ready to join into these lobby now this is a good way to get 2500 so you can still be playing and you know in game get the in game experience still if you don't want to do the bot lobby way so joining a match and there's a spot so long as there's a spot in the lobby you will be able to join so you see i'm connecting now give it a sec and i'm now in the lobby look at that and it's on hijack which is a good map so i'm gonna go ahead click circle and then leave alone so that way nobody's getting free kills on those bots so now i'm about to play this lobby and show you guys how this lobby end up turning out what the lobby's talking about you know to this day oh so they lucky the game wasn't longer it was starting to streak but look at that you guys 47 9 and then look at all the other enemies and stuff and look at this just spawn trapping them they couldn't even get out the spawn now this right here is the bonus method for you making it all the way to the end i know some people probably was wondering how do you get the pack a punch camos in cold war multiplayer so this right here the method so you do need to be on ps5 it's ps5 only at the moment if you don't have ps5 once there's a new updated method for xbox or pc but if you don't have those other platforms i will be linking or will be linked below discord where you can just get the pack a punch camos on your account and the original pack a punch method where it comes from because pack a punch originally comes from a method on pc and this is just the way of how you can do it on console but everything will be linked below so all you have to do is on the host account click x and you will need two controls for this on playstation and you will need a mouse so i'm going to be giving myself a pack a punch camo on my vargo and the host account of course needs to pack a punch camo this is just a transfer so on the host account go to local zom and then create your match circle and then bring in your second controller and then add user bring it as a quick play for your guests and then click x x and then bring it in and then on the host account click the home button and then home and then go to cold war and then go down to cold war and then click on any onslaught method or any zombies game mode so i'm gonna click this onslaught any zombies game mode though and then click circle leave lobby and then with the second controller now go over to operators and then click x circle dismiss options button circle and then circle and then go to weapons first controller go over to weapons create a class and then go to the weapon blueprint 
that you want to bring over to the council remember i want pack a punch camo on my vargo and here's all the pack a punch camos you can get like i'm finna get this custom mod 2 right here and then go over to gunsmith and then click l2 custom mod options and then now with the second controller click circle and then click dismiss and then now with the main controller the first controller click options and then circle and then click create a class in the background then gunsmith and then l2 so you're back on this screen now with the second controller again now once you've done that with the first controller still click circle 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 all the way back to the main screen right here and now with the second controller click the home button and go ahead and switch it to the account that you want to get the pack punch camo on so i'm switching it over to my main account and then go ahead load it up and then make sure you go to play online make sure it's the online version and then click on multiplayer zombies either or and then go over to operators and then now with the mouse Make sure you have your mouse plugged in and make sure it's logged into your account. Logged into the account that you're getting the pack of punch camo on, so your main account. It should automatically work still, no matter the account is logged in, but make sure it's logged into the account that's getting the camo. So save this new mod, and now it's worked. So I'm now going to just restart the app. All right, I'm now loaded up. All right, I'm now loaded up. I'm going to multiplayer. Now if I go to my weapons, go down to that Vargo, custom mods. You guys see custom mods 2 is there. I now have it on my main account and once again if you're not on playstation 5 i will be linking the discord and in the discord it's not only just pack a punch camos you could get things that's unreleased like cdl camos that never come back to the store that's from 2021 and i also have it in the pinned comment if you enjoyed today's video or found this video helpful make sure you do leave a like and share this video wow man i'll be greatly appreciated also make sure you do follow me on instagram tiktok twitter the links to those will be in the description but yeah man other than that it's me your boy km and i'm out peace